I study and work with kids with behavior and neurodevelopmental disorders. And these tend to be kids that can't function in their environment at home and can't function productively in their environment in school. So what I do in terms of my research is try to figure out ways that we can keep them in their regular classroom and keep them in their regular school. The kids that I primarily work with, they could have oppositional defiance problems, conduct disorder problems, autism, and what we do is we use primarily behavior analysis to try to figure out what is going on in the environment that's triggering this behavior and then what things we can put into place to help neutralize those triggers and support skill development. There's been a lot of research recently in terms of meditation and mindfulness and what that can do to kind of improve attention and memory. A research study we're working on now is we're in a school that's primarily a school for kids with social and behavior disorders. What we're trying to institute is 15 minutes in the day of quiet time where they can meditate and also practicing mindfulness. And the hope is that if they're able to kind of center and start the day off well, that we'll see better improvements in their behavior. Every child in America is entitled to a free and appropriate public education in the least restrictive environment. And what we try to do is even the kids where people have said we have exhausted every other option, we try to make sure that we do even more and we do experimental analysis of behavior and try additional strategies so that we can keep them with their peer group.